Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be illustrating how to work out the wind bracing system section sizes that resist the longitudinal wind forces for a portal frame. The basic wind speed is assumed to be 50 meters per second, and the building is situated in the country. The dimensions of the building height is 4 meters to the eaves and 6 meters to the apex. The portal frame is 16 meters span. Gable frame has five columns with four meters spacing between them. Only the diagonal members' section sizes are required as the other members are part of the portal frames. The first step is to calculate the wind load. To work out the design wind speed, we need to identify S factor from the table. We can note that S coefficient equals 0.88 for the building, where the height is less than 10 meters, and located in the country. Consequently, the design wind speed equals basic wind speed 50 m per second multiplied by S coefficient 0.88, which equals 44 m per second. Therefore, wind pressure is obtained from 0.613 times design wind speed 44 squared divided by 1000, which equals 1.2 kN per meter squared. Secondly, we need to work out forces, P1, P2, and P3, on the bracing structure. However, we need to identify a pressure coefficient from the table for the windward and leeward sides. We can note, it is a positive 0.7 and negative 0.3 respectively. Hence, wind load on end walls equals wind pressure 1.2 kN per meter squared, times, open bracket, positive 0.7, minus, negative 0.3, close brackets. Therefore, we get 1.2 kN per meter squared applied load. Now we should be able to calculate the forces P1, P2, and P3. P1 force is obtained from area multiplied by the wind pressure. However, what is the area for the load here? The area for the load P1 approximately equals half the distance between the gable columns, divided by half of the height of column, which equals 4 over 2, times, 4 over 2, we get 4 meters squared. Therefore, P1 equals area 4 meters squared, times, wind pressure 1.2 kN per meter squared, and we get 4.8 kN. Similarly, P2 and P3 forces are obtained from the area multiplied by the wind pressure. P2 equals 12 kN. P3 equals 14.4 kN. For the calculation purposes, the truss is assumed to be flat, with a 45 degree bracing angle. The forces are found by considering the equilibrium of the joints. Vertical and horizontal are used to distinguish the directions, not the position in the building. To make it easier, we need to note the forces at joint B and H. For equilibrium, they should equal the sums of 2P1, 2P2, and P3. This equals 2 by 4.8, plus, 2 by 12, plus, 14.4, we get 48 kilonewtons. Consequently, the forces at B and H are, 48, divided by, 2, which equals 24 kilonewtons. We need to work out the diagonal forces, let's start with joint B. We have 4.8 kilonewtons in this direction, and 24 kilonewtons in the other direction. For equilibrium in the vertical direction, the force of BC, sine 45, equals 24 minus 4.8. Hence FBC, equals 27.15 kN. In the horizontal direction, force BE should be, equal to FBC, cosine 45. In result, FBE, equals 19.2 kN. Next. Joint C. For equilibrium in the vertical direction, 12 kN plus the force of CE, sin 45, equals, 27.15, sin 45. Hence FCE, equals, 10.18 kN. In the horizontal direction, force CD should be, equal to FBC, sin 45, plus, FCE, sin 45. In result FCD, equals, 26.4 kN. Finally, joint D, in the vertical direction, FDE should be, equal to, the load P3, 14.4 kN. In the horizontal direction, FDF should be, equal to, FCD, 26.4 kN. 
The forces in the horizontal truss that forms part of the wind bracing are summarized in the diagram. The structural sections can now be chosen for the diagonal members, circular hollow sections CHS are usual, and the actual stress calculated by actual force, which we have just worked out, divided by the member section area. For instance, for BC member, the force is 27.5 kN, and we choose 114.3 by 3.6 CHS section, which area, equals 1250 mm squared. Hence the stress for the member BC is 27.5 kN, divided by, the area. We get 21.7 N per mm squared. We use the same approach for the other members. Equally important, the allowable stresses should be checked against the actual stresses to ensure that the allowable is greater than all elements' actual stresses. As the wind is reversible, all elements would be designed for compression. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.